The X-Carve is coming along great. Now I need to assemble the controller box. All the cables that run from the motors and homing switches connect here. There are a lot of parts to this box. And all in all, it wasn't too difficult to put together. By following the directions one step at a time, it came together pretty quickly. There's an option to add on an extra panel to the left side of the machine to hold the controller box. I opted not to add it because I'll be building a separate cart to house the X-Carve and the controller box will be mounted to the side of the cart. When the box was done, I connected all the wires to the green terminal blocks. The terminal blocks then easily plug into the back of the box. Everything is connected. Now it's time to connect the machine to my computer. So I opened Easel, the software that Inventables provides to design and cut things on the X-Carve. I followed the steps of installing a driver, but had to stop when testing the Y-axis. Oh. All right, so this is fun. When I go to do the Y, the whole thing moves in the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right, white, red. Yep, I did it wrong. All right, here we go. This is what I did wrong. So I assumed it was white, red, green, black, white, red, green, black, white, red, green, black. And it's not, it's white, red, black, green right here. So this, that, Y2, I have to switch. Not a big deal, I'm just do it right now. Ah, before I do anything, power it off, unplug it. Just unplug this. This is what happens when it's 1 a.m. and uh, I just kind of try to breeze through it without reading it fully and thoroughly. Okay, let's get back in. Power on. After fixing the wiring, the machine was moving around great. <laughs> Technically, the machine is ready to make a cut at this point. I still have some more to do, like calibration, but I'll be running a test cut before any of that. I threw in one of the V-bits that Inventables sent to me just to see how easy it was to add a bit. It's done. It is officially done. It is uh, 1.30 in the morning, so I'm not gonna do any cuts right now. I will wait until tomorrow, but it's looking good. Couple little doodads here and there I gotta fix, but I think it's done. Oh, I should find out what time it's Let's see how long this took me. Do a little math here. We can stop the timer. This took me 10 hours and 12 minutes.
basically 10 hours. What? Did it really take me 10 hours? Is that right? So it took me an hour, 20 minutes to do the control panel box, all the wiring, hooking that up, testing, getting this up. Or, yeah, total time, 10 hours and 12 minutes. That is a lot less than the 16 to 24 hours that I thought this would take me. And I don't think I was like flying through it. I was just kind of like taking my time, enjoying it, making sure I was doing everything right. There were a couple little hiccups here and there, but for the most part, that wasn't bad. This was pretty easy to put together. If I really wanted to, I could have put it together in a day, I guess. It would have been a long day, but definitely could have been uh, just a single day. We're not gonna end the video here. We're gonna find out tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean right now. Okay, it's daytime. So let's do a test cut. I used easel software to easily create a design of my logo for the X-Carve to cut. I clamped a scrap of half inch plywood to the surface using the clamps from the kit. Calibrated the machine to this spot on the work area and let her rip. It's so cool to see it cut something so unique. This machine just opens up a world of possibilities for things that I can make. I can't even tell you how excited I am to have this in my workshop. Next, I'll be building a table to house the machine and make the process of using it organized and streamlined. I'll also be going over dust collection because clearly this thing is going to create a lot of dust. It works. Oh, okay. So it's not perfect. There's a bunch of little things that are kind of messed up, but we're going to fine tune that. Okay. <sighs> so cool. Okay. That's it for now. See ya. <laughs> Guys, hello, hello. Hi. Ch -ch -ch.